Welcome back in the Fever. We're this week. Uh, we're lucky enough for our Chalk Talk session to have Estacada coach Danny Cervantes. Coach, thanks for joining us this Thank week. Thank you. Estacada coming off a big win, their first win of the year this season, 34-27 over Midland Greenwood. Coach, talk about finally being able to, to, to see some success with some of the hard work the guys have been putting through uh, or putting forth through this year. Well, you know, the thing that we try to emphasize to our kids is to continue to fight. You know, good things are going to happen, but we also try to emphasize to them that uh, football is – like schizophrenia, you know, you have good things happening bad, and surely in that ball game this past Friday we had some bad things happen early, but our kids hung in there and uh, they continued to fight, and uh, we ended up on top. So we're happy about that. Now I'm sure you know the the, the middle state of, of the program is still something you guys are, are working with and things like that. So when you start 0 and 2, did you feel like you know th that maybe the kids are thinking, oh, here we go again type of deal? Well, you know, I think you have to, especially as young as we are, you know, it's easily it's easy to get discouraged. Uh, so, yeah, at some time we did start to think, well, you know, we've got to keep encouraging these kids. Uh, hopefully they have bought into what we're trying to teach them uh, as far as our system is concerned. And uh, hopefully, you know, eventually they'll see the outcome on a positive, you know, in a positive way. Now talk about, you know, a big second quarter, you know, two big momentum swings. They get a couple of plays, a couple of defensive plays, a safety, you know, things like that. And all of a sudden it looks like they're middle and Greenwood's in control. Then, you know, like six minutes left, you guys get a couple of drives that, that get a couple of touchdowns. You go into half at tide and, and things have clearly swung back your way. Well, I think, you know, there were a couple of big plays there uh, in the second quarter. And, you know, of course, uh, I think them and punting the ball and, um, maybe getting a one-yard punt there and giving us great field position uh, was one of the things that really changed the momentum of the game. I thought our defense started to pick it up a little bit and play a little bit better there uh, in the second quarter. And then the drive that we put together there with, uh, I guess, a minute and something left was huge in getting a score right there before the half. And, and talk about, you know, second half, you know, the, you know it, it kind of turns into a defensive game, but you guys get a couple of, of big drives, especially one that was set up, I thought, you know, with a couple of you know, a weird calls, you know, the big pass that they that went interception. And then it looked like they were trying to think about fake punting, and, and you guys get a hand on it, and you get a short field that leads to the winning touchdown. Yeah, you know, I, I thought, you know, those were key things. Uh, I think our offense did a great job. Coach Sims and our offensive coaches did a great job of managing time, I thought, right there before before the half, and uh, I continue to talk about our offensive line and how, you know, really the way uh, we go this year or our success this year is going to be determined on, you know, how our offensive line plays, and those guys are getting better each week, and I thought they did a great job. Uh, against Greenwood. Now, you know, Greenwood obviously ran the ball. That's what they like to do. You're facing another team this week in Snyder that we know all, all know that Snyder loves to run the football. You've got your basic defense up here against their offense. Talk about what your defense is going to be looking at or looking for, you know, from, you know, when Snyder's coming at you with that running game. Well, you know, Snyder does a great job of, of running the football, of course. You know, they did a great job um, in the past with Will Clay back there at tailback. They've, not, they've got another good tailback back there, but I think the most impressive thing is their offensive line. You know, they do a great job with their offensive line. But what those guys like to do more than anything is they like to bring their fullback here, and then they like to fake it there, use their tailback to come around and block, and then they like to take this guy and follow. Either he's going to get outside or he likes to cut it up inside right there. But these guys right here, those guys – are going to be the key um, to Snyder's success. And, you know, it, it, it almost looks like kind of like an option type deal that, you know, it's one that, you know, when we talk about talk about coaches talking about options is reading keys and, and, and staying home and, and, and just kind of playing your area there. Well, you know, I think it's assignment football. You know, just like this past week, we harped on our kids about doing your job and not trying to overemphasize or trying to overanalyze something and try to make up for – you know, what you think your your teammate's not doing. This is an offense that is geared to take advantage of the mistakes that you make on defense and uh, not playing your assignment. Now, when you look at this, does it help that, you know, like we said, Greenwood ran the ball and they ran a lot of options. This kind of looks a, a little similar. Does it help that, you know, two weeks in a row you're kind of facing the same deal where, you know, you can see a lot of your corrections from one week to the next on, you know, on the field? You know, I think it does help, you know, repetition. Uh, is what we'll have. You know, uh, Snyder does a lot of the same things that Greenwood did. Uh, our kids have seen some of the things that 
um, that, that Snyder has done through Greenwood. So I think seeing the same offense or similar offenses two weeks in a row, that has to be an advantage for us. Well, there you have it. You know, Estacado playing some good defense, finally got some success to go with their uh, their challenges and things this week. And, and I look for uh, more from Estacado this week. Coach Vance, appreciate you coming in this week. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. When we come back, I'll give you my picks, and we'll run down this week's games right here on the field.